Hi, uh, in my previous video about computer security and passwords, I did use uh, two-factor authentication through OTI application and uh, now in this video I will show how that application is used, how you can install it, configure it and uh, the basics and how to use it because I think it's important in order to uh, secure the important accounts with the two-factor authentication and I will try to capture the screen of my telephone while I'm doing that so the, the, in order to, I'll be looking at my phone like most people in cafes these days while I'm recording this so the first thing is to go to App Store or Google Store depending on which uh, uh, model you are using iPhone or, or Android and then uh, you can search for Oti let's see Okay, here it is, I will click install, okay it's installed, now I can open it, let's see what it looks like, here it is, okay now I need to enter my phone number because it is connected to a phone but uh, you can install it on a computer as I will show later and so even if something happens to your phone you will be still able to log into all the services using uh, the two-factor authentication until you get your phone fixed uh, having said that it is convenient and practical to use it with a phone that is registered to you so in case you get uh, it gets stolen or damaged you will get uh, a new card issued with the same number that uh, can prevent some of the of the hassle and complications so let's see there's a search option to find your country for the access code okay and now I'll enter my phone number and uh, I will cut that out of the video for privacy reasons After having entered my phone number, it asked for my email and uh, it asked me to confirm that the number is correct and now I'm entering email. Okay. I will confirm the number by receiving SMS message with the code. And here I got the, the SMS message with the code 291. 632 okay now I have configured my uh, OT and authenticated my phone number and now I need to uh, add a two-factor authentication and when you are on a website that enables you to activate that protection you will be given a slight like that uh, square picture QR code called to scan it with your phone camera and to enable that protection so the way to do it is to go to your OT I'll add to your OT options and say add account and then you will be given an option to scan QR code and uh, okay it, it asks you to allow the access to camera okay and then you will be able to then you will be able to rec record the the QR code and to to activate the, the security it's it's fairly simple and now let's uh, try to install OTI for our computer we'll go to the settings and devices and uh, check this option allow multi-device and now we'll install it on a PC let's see we'll go to OTI.com downloads I want a direct download for in this case it's a 64-bit Windows installation okay here it is it's being downloaded and after I've downloaded it I can then uh, 
in trying to in install and configure it and my phone will ask me to confirm this new device that the computer will be. This is a good option, backups, that allow me to enter a password and then I can uh, uh, retrieve backups even if something happens bad to the application and also it will help uh, syncing all the other accounts and you can all protect them all with the password so even if someone has access to a computer they will need to enter the OT password in order to to pull that data so that's a good idea for this we will use just test one two three password if it allows me to use such a short password test one two three okay cool now OT has been downloaded let's try to run the installation okay antivirus asked me to if i want to allow and i know that i've opened downloaded a safe application from uh, the website that i've already used and checked out so it's okay i made an exception okay now it asks for my phone number again Now, how do I want to ver verify this account? I can use the existing device. It's the most practical way. Say existing device. And now I should open this on the phone. I'm opening the application on the phone. And let's... Here it is. On the When I open the, the starting page, it asks me to accept or deny. Accept. How will I uh, confirm that? It wants me to type okay to make sure that I really am allowed this that I hadn't just accidentally clicked so okay success cool now I can click here and go to settings devices and here it is shown I can in case my computer gets uh, stolen or anything else remove it from here so it's no longer authorized for OT and that's a really, really neat options and this on the phone and on the computer both get synchronized so whenever I add a new two-factor authentication I can use uh, the, the computer to log in easily I don't have to use my phone so it's very practical and this is what uh, using OT looks like uh, on a computer I've already uh, entered my username and password for Cloudflare and now it is asking for my two-factor authentication code and uh, the previous recording I did uh, on a mobile phone was uh, a bit problematic because uh, OT application prevented the screen recorder from recording anything that I typed into OT practically for probably privacy reasons but I think that you can understand the installation procedure it is fairly simple and straightforward but uh, here is what it looks like uh, when you open the application both on mobile phone and on computer you get to choose the account you wish and then you get the the code and here you can just click on this to copy it and paste it and then you click login and that's it so I hope this uh, explains the use of two-factor authentication at least the, the basics and that you will be able to get on with this you can use it to secure your important accounts like email primarily especially the one that you use to register for any service and uh, it's best to have that email separate so it's not the same that you use for transactional emails so nobody knows that email that you have for registration that's the the safest possible policy and you can also use it to secure your Instagram, Facebook accounts and uh, LinkedIn and uh, so on anything uh, that you expect uh, if you lose to have a lot of inconvenience so it is an extra hassle so I don't use it for every account but for the important stuff I use it just in case even though I think that a good password is more than enough and uh, in case of any breaches uh, even uh, when they uh, happen it is very often not because someone breached a good password 
there's often some other security problem either with the service or with your computer but still uh, two-factor authentication does help and it is a good idea in general so uh, this is this was a video about that thank you for watching and cheers